Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are liking different videos on my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends. Uh, friends, uh, some of uh, the viewers on my channel have uh, shared their experience of interviews and they have shared the questions that they were asked and uh, you know they suggested that I can cover in in uh, those questions in one of the videos. So I'm starting a specific series to cover all the questions which was mentioned in the comment section. So recently one of uh, uh, our viewer had uh, mentioned a question uh, that he was asked in an interview. Question was that uh, what is difference between uh, fault tolerance uh, support given by Yarn and fault tolerance support given by Spark. Uh, we say Spark is also fault tolerant and yarn is also fault tolerant uh, what is the difference between uh, these two and why do we need both okay so before we answer this question uh, we should be clear the role that yarn and spark are playing so yarn as we know from the videos that i have posted earlier uh, yarn is a, a resource manager it it knows how many resources are available in the cluster if there is any failure of the resources, if there is any failure of any machines, it manages that. It assigns and schedules, uh, it assigns resources to a job and it schedules the jobs on different machines. Uh, so that's what Yarn's responsibility is. Spark's responsibility is that whatever uh, execution you want to do on data, it will make a plan for that and execute it, uh, execute that logic on the data so that's what the uh, role of spark is so yarn is a resource manager and spark is an execution framework now spark can run on yarn it can run on mesos it can run on anything so that thing uh, should be clear you know before we move ahead so how yarn is fault tolerant yarn is fault tolerant because uh, if there is any failure of any containers which are running on yarn cluster or uh, application manager is uh, has failed so uh, yarn is capable of uh, recovering it and uh, restarting those containers uh, there may be some data loss as part of that uh, process uh, you know uh, yarn may help us uh, recover that data also in some situations that may not be recovered so uh, till few versions till few i don't know the exact version but uh, till few versions of hadoop 2.x if application manager has failed, resource manager should uh, use to kill all the containers which were given to that application master. So, uh, but now, uh, if application manager fails, uh, then uh, resource manager can restart that application manager and rebind those running containers with the application manager. So, Yarn can now uh, uh, recover application master also so it can try running application restarting application master multiple times so that is part of yarn's fault tolerance now how spark is fault tolerant spark is fault tolerant in terms of execution so uh, you have given some data to spark and uh, you have given some transformations and actions to run on that data uh, if while executing one of the executor fails spark knows that uh, uh, you know what is the lineage of that rdd so using that lineage it can recover uh, the partitions which were sitting on that particular failed executor so that's how spark gives you fault tolerance so yarn is more generic you know impala jobs run on yarn spark jobs run on yarn MapReduce jobs run on yarn hive jobs run on yarn there are different kinds of jobs which are which run on yarn spark jobs are not the only one which runs on yarn so yarn is more of a generic framework which will help you recover your containers and your application master because yarn understands the language of application master and uh, containers it will look your jobs from that perspective but if there is specific recoveries uh, you know in context of your execution engine like uh, spark use has a uh, terminology of uh, spark has a concept of uh, uh, lineage uh, 
you know impala doesn't have a concept of lineage or some other framework may not have a concept of uh, lineage uh, so spark uh, if it wants to recover uh, more granular pieces of the execution execution uh, you know train or execution what do you call that uh, execution uh, thread or execution uh, you know i'm not getting the word uh, to say uh, if, if spark wants to recover uh, the whole pipeline which was ex which was executed uh, it has more gran granular controls like lineage to recover a specific partition from all the partitions uh, from which that particular partition uh, was calculated so that's how yarns fault tolerance is different from sparks fault tolerance i hope uh, i simplified this questions and uh, help it helped you understand this question if this is still not clear please post questions in the comment section i'll be very happy to answer the question thank you for watching my channel please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends